said that we would talk about it in class, so I'll tell you what those ones are. Okay. There's a box plot up here for this one. Um, so we got um, number 11. From the review, we're looking at this box plot to see um, what that would look like. First of all, I've got the five number summary right there. I've got 0, 8, um, 11, 17, and 32. Um, that's my five number summary. Um, before I do my box plot, I'm just going to check to see if there's any outliers because that might mess up what my was like. So, um, so I need to find my IQR. Minus Q1, which is 17 minus 8, which is 9. And then I've got my lower fence of Q1 minus 1.5 times my IQR, which is 8 minus 1.5 times 9. So that's going to be something negative. plus 1.5 times 9, which is 30.5. So I do have an outlier, well at least one, a 32. That's my largest number. Do I have anything else? Nope, nothing else above 30, so I'm okay there. All right, so I do have an outlier, so that is going to affect how I do my um, box and whiskers plot. I don't want to include this on any of my whiskers. Um, so Got my number line in there. I'm going to put an 8 here, an 11, and 17 here. Grab those ones. Okay. And my lower whisker is okay because I don't have any outliers over there. So I can go ahead and just draw my lower whisker down to here, 0. And that's my minimum of 0. This is my Q1, which is 7. This is my median which is 11, this is my Q3, which is 17. My maximum is going to be all the way out here at 32, but that's going to be an outlier, so I'm just going to draw that with a star um, because I don't want that to be part of my whisker. Um, my upper fence was 30.5. So there's my upper fence right there. My whisker can't go past that. So now i got to figure out where my whisker is going to Stop. It's not going to start. stop at the 30.5 because I don't have a 30.5 anywhere on my data set. What's the largest number I have in my um, data set that's not an outlier? 26. All right, so 32 doesn't work, that's an outlier. If I look at all my other numbers, 26 is the largest that I see. That's the only one in the 20s. So the 26 will be right here. So that's where we're going to be where my whisker ends. 
And so this is 26. And that's the largest number that is not an outlier. And that'll be a graph of what my box and whiskers plot would look like. If you want to double check that one, you could put all of those values into your L1. Um, and then do zoom nine to get you your box and whiskers plot, assuming yours is still set up. Um, if you did that one on number 16 previously, you might want to turn that off. Otherwise, it's going to show up to a bunch on your calculator. So um, if you have set this set up, if you come down here to number two, turn it off. Um, that way you only have the one on. You only want this one to be turned on and do two at the same time for number 16 on the homework. So the other one was a split stem and leaf plot, which there is going to be one of those on the uh, test as well. So here we want a split stem and leaf plot, which represents scores on the final exam. So for this one, all of the numbers are two digits. So we're going to have one number for our stem and one digit for our leaf. So split it up like that. We need to um, look at the numbers that we're using. So we've got fives, sixes, sevens, eights, and nines. So instead of just writing five, six, seven, eight, nine, I'm going to write two for each because it's a split stem and leaf plot. So I'm going to have five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, and nine, nine. And so on this one, I think everything's already in the right order. If you read the front row uh, left to right and then go down to the bottom row left to right, so you don't have to worry about putting these in order in your calculator. I think it's the same way on the test. I kept them in uh, in order, so you don't have to worry about putting them in order. You just have to put them in the right um, uh, rows. So we, I've got 158. So that eight is going to go on the second row because it's a digit that's five through nine. Top row is only for zero through four. Um, I've got a 66 and a 68. Six and eight are going to go on the bottom rows for the 60s. So I don't have anything from 60 to 64, so I'm just going to leave that one blank. Two seventies, two seventy one, two, two seventy three, and then I'm going to stop because my next number is seventy five. That's going to come down here on the bottom row. So I'll start with five, nine, and then I've got my eighties. And again, I'm going to stop because my next number is an 86. Six needs to come down here on this bottom row. I've got 86. Okay, and then for my 90s, I have a 0, 2, 3, and then a 95, and a 90. Oops, 7. So, like I said, the data is already in order for you. Um, you just have to know what row each one of them is going to go on. Don't put any commas in there. Um, and also here, I don't have anything here or here that's put zeros because I don't have any scores up there that's a 50 or a 60. So just leave those blank. If you want to be consistent with the homework, you can type a right in an N or a none, and that'd be fine with me, um, whichever way you want to do it. Doesn't matter. As long as you don't put a zero, I'm cool with it. Does anybody have questions on this? Is there anybody have a chance to look over it? Did anybody not look over it, but you still have a topic that was a little bit fuzzy that you want to review a little bit more? 